Hello and welcome to this video. One of the touchers that is on the list of approved touchers on Buildings of Ireland is uh, Matty Kelly and I contacted him a couple of weeks ago about my little project and I have met him since and I was very lucky that he let me work with him for a couple of days so I could see how the touching is all done from scratch basically and I'll talk you through some of the steps that we did together. This is the house that we worked on. It's in Colla Hill in County Leash and you can see there's Colla Hill Castle in the background and there's actually also a Sheila Nagig on Colla Hill Castle. She's not as vulgar as the, the resident in the attached building calls it as a lot of other Sheila Nagigs because she doesn't have a lower body. She just has an upper body quite exposed but um, yeah anyway. First of all, we took a very scenic route from Freshford to Colla Hill via Gatabon and the Colla Hill Hills in County Leash, just about County Leash, to cut hazel rods, which we will use later then to make scallops. Yeah, this is a hazel that we got above there in Colla Hill Woods. Yeah, so down there here now, Nancy Roberts shed now, we're making a few scallops from hazel. Uh, the old traditional style. Simple as that. No work, no work involved. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. See, you're using one hand against the other. There we go. It looks so easy twisting them and bending them, but it wasn't really. And we made a whole bundle so he could take that up to the roof. With this touched cottage, Matty is only replacing the book of the roof. And he clears off the old book and uh, brushes that down the roof and then puts a new layer, actually two layers, of touch on it. So this is a less traditional method of touching. He uses a hedge cutter to cut the top layer of the old touch because uh, it's mossy and it's wet and the rain doesn't really drain as well as when there's a new touch on. Here he adds a new sheaf of reed under the bamboo stick and secures it. You see him use a scallop here, hammering it in with a mallet. Once the sheaves are all in place, he secures them with this kind of cross stitch um, out of bamboo canes and uses the scallops again to secure them on the roof. And he cuts off the excess reed with the secateur. Also note how he uses scallops and other sticks to hold his tools and his material up on the roof. And finally he uses the ligate or legate to dress up the coat work in the thatch. So I hope you enjoyed that. This wasn't at all about mapping, of course, but um, it's part of my deep dive into touching and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please watch some of my other videos and like and subscribe if you want to. And I shall see you in the next video, which will be about mapping again. Slán!